Hey, how's it going? Okay. Now, Wes, um, when people call up, call in. Hey, Alicia. Oh, my God. Let me come here for words. Hello. When, when people call in or, or call into this broadcast, we're going to see all, all of them in the screen. Yeah, I mean, um, basically, I, I guess if you can set it up, I mean, you can, your controls, right? Right. On the side. So you can, you know, if you're broadcasting, you can mute the callers if you want people talking at the same time. I've used this actually before, actually. I know it. I told them that the first time I ever used it was because you invited me. <laughs> so, uh, so you're helping us test out. This is Alicia over here. Alicia, she's the Hi. Hello, how are you? Yeah, oh, she's going to be interviewing us or for her blog talk radio Hello, show. But somebody hey, told us we should do it as a hangout. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we really don't know what we're doing, Wes. We don't know. <laughs> so this, um, it's saying. Well, okay, we're okay, small we're now. Here. Okay, pop up. That's us down there. This is us down yeah. here. And see what happens. Put us up there. Okay, yeah. so we can use so that as a percent to everyone. So oh. keep them small. And we can use this as a monitor. As our monitor, monitor so we can see how we're doing. Exactly. Oh, I was yeah. wondering how I did that before. Mm -hmm. I must have clicked on it. I didn't even realize it. Right, so you so figured it out. Small. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you want to ask? My, my dear brother here before we let you go. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Wes. Okay. Maria. 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 Maria, thank you, Maria. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. Yeah. All right, we'll let you go. We'll play around with it some more. So hopefully you'll log in at six and see how we work this thing out. Right, <laughs> I got our trailer. How do you see the trailer. Yeah, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah, I saw the trailer, yeah. Yeah. This is, you met, and oh, you haven't met Dwight, but this is our director producer right here, Dwight. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, he's All done right. a couple of feature uh, films. So if you go to the web page and click on his name, you'll see his IMDb page. Okay. All right, I'll do that. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. So yeah. All right. I'll I'll tune in at six if I if I'm if I can. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks again. All right. All right. Take hey. care. Take care now. now it says right. stop broadcast right here. times and I told some friends of that were accountability partners that I'm gonna have a booth at this Harlem book fair next year and they never let me forget that I said that and that's really how I really put my feet to the fire and got my first book struck by lightning published. Written and published. No, that was fake. Yeah. That was fake talk. Yeah it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. All right now. That's right. You gotta do the work.
Well, from our first book, she uh, struck by lightning. She was had ten short stories in relationships and all the damages that the uh, uh, people that brings into a relationship, you know, the negative and everything about it. So she wanted to do a, another story from that. And you know, um, when we met, we've only been married for we've been going on four years now. That's right. Yes, so uh, she wrote that book before we met, and she told me about it and everything. And I, she gave me a copy of it, and I came home and I read it. I said, "Oh, that great!" And uh, it was a pretty good book. But uh, some of those things, some of the ideas that some of the things that I went through in my past, you know, of being married and relationships, you know, I kind of related to because you know I had a lot of baggage within myself that you know that I brought in. You know, not talking about anybody else, but just made it up for me. So I understood some of those things, you know. So uh, she wanted to add another short story to the, to the book of uh, Struck by Lightning, and she wanted a, a man's point of view for that. Yeah. Uh, so I said, well, I'm going to say, I got, I got some uh, stranger, man. I'm going to write this story, too. So the body stories. I said, if you can be able to handle it, <laughs> I'm able to handle it. <laughs> it's it's a a you can handle it. Yes. We all have a past. It's in the past. Yeah. In the past. Yeah. That's, that's, that's way in the past. Yeah. So. Being able to handle it. Story of it, and that's what we did. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And that was a step by lightning. Yeah. And now we are at the young house. Yes. Rolling. Yeah. Rolling. Rolling. Yeah. Rolling. Okay. Let's talk Rolling. about Rolling. Man. <laughs> okay. Rolling. Um, well, you're going to speak to the person that sparked that in a few minutes. That would be Dwight Wilkins, director and producer who reached out to us. He read the story and reached out to us and said it would be a good story to bring to the big screen. And we were just thrilled. And Roman is the main character in the story. So this is, you know, George's story. Roman. Roman is a guy who, uh, young fella who's, uh, who's saved in the church. You know, he's been through a lot in his life, and he has, but he has the same idea, he's, he's the same uh, uh, that way He's married. You know, he's, uh, well, he thinks he's, uh, he thinks he's going to get a divorce his wife. Just just off the top of his anger. Just that. Because he meets another woman that he likes, and he looks at the hour of this young Okay. So then he saw I'm doing it with my wife, and he started a relationship with her, and he's going to marry her. And so this is a pattern that he's had. So it's a pattern that he's had through the years, you know, but when things are done working the way he wants it, because he's always looking at the outside instead of the end. You know, see, you know, and then, you know, he has uh, is deal with not only that part, he deals with the uh, 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 children, because the woman has his wife has a child, and he's a stepfather, which he loves his teenage son. He loves him, but then you know he's going through issues because of the uh, wife. Wife is not supporting him in there because if she had a past issue, you know, of growing up with a stepfather in her past. So you know, it's dealing with like that. Also deals with uh, legacy. Some you know stuff happened in the past. You know that uh, that he's. Now he's starting to really kind of like want to figure out well, why are these things chasing Why is he like what he is? Because he had his dreams and he's going through stuff. And a lot of times things happen in the past. Grandpa, great grandpa, great great grandpa does things and everything. And it leads all the way up. It's a legacy. It's a legacy. And then we wonder why. So we wonder why. You know he's like that, and he, you know, and, you know so it deals with a lot of issues with him. But he, but when he goes with pastor, he talks to the pastor. The pastor's trying to tell him you can't just divorce. I mean, you can't just jump in a relationship and not divorce. He was done now. So the pastor's trying to tell him something. Yeah. Okay. That was sort of like a true story. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna end it right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you everything. Right. No, we're gonna say everything. You no. <laughs> to go out and see this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to give it all away. Yeah. But just get it on the top. Now you're interested.